Hi, I'm Brian Hayes, a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, we're gonna take a look at progressive profiling in Pardot, why you should be using it, and how to set it up. So first of all, what is progressive profiling? Progressive profiling is a feature in Pardot that allows you to display different fields on a form once you already know something about the user looking at that form. So to give you an example, let's say you've got somebody land on your website and they fill out your contact us form. And in that form, you might ask them their name, their title, their email address. Well, the next form that they come across, maybe they're going through your website further and they see that there's a form for a white paper. Well, you already know what their name and title is. So those fields can be hidden automatically and essentially in their place, you can ask additional fields, additional questions. So maybe now you wanna ask what's the name of your company or how many employees do you have or what sort of product interest might you have? The big benefit of this is you can progressively profile your prospects. You can ask them additional questions. You can gather additional information on somebody over time as they interact with multiple forms or the same form multiple times. And of course, the more information you have on somebody, the easier it is to give them something that they want, to send marketing communication that's actually useful and valuable to them. So let's take a look at how you might set this up. So I've got a standard form here. I'm gonna click into that and hit edit. And when you go to the uh, number two, the fields section in building out this form, you can set up progressive profiling on each of these fields. So we've got first name, last name, email, company. You know, let's add another field here. Let's say we also wanna know what their title is. So here it is, job title. So I'm gonna add this field. I'm not gonna make it required. And then there's a tab in this field configuration screen called progressive. If you click on that, this is where you can enable it as a progressive field to be used in progressive profiling. If you check this box, you can then determine what piece of data do you want to already have in the database before you show them this field. So in this case, let's just say we want to know what their company is first. Once we've got their company, then we're going to show them the job title question. So this looks pretty good. Let's hit save. Now we could, we could do this, you know, in additional steps. So let's say we want to ask another question. Let's go with, years in business. So I'm gonna uncheck the required box here again. Uh, we're gonna just set the data format to number there. And let's click on progressive again. So check that box and let's have this only show up once we have job title filled in. Save changes. So here we really have two levels of progressive profiling on just this one form. So if they filled this out before or we already have their job title in Salesforce, it's gonna ask them years in business. And if we don't have their company yet, it's not gonna ask them for a job title. Now we can even get more advanced than this. Maybe we only want years in business to show up with additional fields being filled out. We only wanna ask this if we already know their email, we already know their last name, first name, job title, et cetera. Let me hit save on that. So that one's gonna be really hard to show. If you start using this feature in different places, you'll find that you're, you're capturing more data and you're understanding your prospects better. The reason not to just add all these fields on one form is because every field that you add to a form decreases the conversion rate. So the harder it is to fill out, the less likely someone's actually gonna go through that work to fill out that form and hit submit, which is of course what we want. So keep those forms short, but start leveraging progressive profiling so that if they're coming back and they're interacting with you more than once, you have the opportunity to capture some extra data, learn more about them so you can then better serve them in your marketing and in your business. I hope that helped. If it did, please hit the like button and click subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials and how-tos like this one. Thanks.